in the last two classes we have seen turing machines and the classes of languages represented by turing machines we also have looked at chomsky classification of languages in this lecture we are going to see the robustness of the turing machine model that we discussed we shall discuss about two other variants of turing machines they are actually equivalent in power to the turing machine that we discussed so what we discussed is called the standard turing machine model where we have a finite control unit sorry a control unit with finitely many states and a semi infinite tape now we can look at some variants of turing machines the first variant that we are going to see is a turing machine with multiple tapes for example consider a turing machine which is having three different tapes so there is a single control unit at any time the control unit will be in one of the finitely many states but there are three tapes in the case of a standard turing machine only one tape here there are three tapes and each tape is having a read write heard so naturally in this case a transition function looks like this from the state p for the simple in the first tape first tape is this first tape and for the simple in the second tape and for the simple in the third tape you need a transition and it defines what is the next state in the control unit and what simple you are going to replace in the first tape in the second tape and in the third tape and also you have to tell the direction of move for the read write heard in each of the three tapes and here is an example transition given and if you apply that the state will be changed to q on the first tape the last simple before the blank was small a that needs to be replaced with alpha that is what you did and you are asked to move left so the read right heard is positioned to the simple on the left in the second tape the read right heard was here small b is the simple and you are asked to replace that with uh, beta and that is what you did and you moved left because here you are asked to move left similarly in the third tape the symbol was small c here the symbol just after the left hand marker and you are asked to change it with uh, gamma that is what you did and here you are asked to move right so the read write heard is positioned to the symbol on the right so that is a turing machine with multiple tapes and in general there could be finitely many tapes n tapes so control unit is same and there could be multiple tapes three in this example each with its own read write heard and what is the step in the computation in the current state p read the symbols under the tape heads say a b and c change to state q replace the current symbols with uh, alpha beta and gamma respectively and move the tape heads to the left left and right respectively so that is a turing machine with multiple tapes st 
structurally it is having more components in it but it is proved that turing machines with a multi tape multiple tapes are equivalent in power to a turing machine with a single tape the proof of the equivalence is not included in the syllabus and for the interest of time we are not discussing it but the proof is given in the textbook if you are interested in looking at it please see and the proof is actually simple it is uh, managing it with a multi track tape but anyway it's not included in the syllabus and for the interest of time we are not looking at it so the only point that you have to remember is the multi tape turing machine and uh, the standard turing machine are equivalent so it is not adding any power now the next variant that we are going to discuss is non deterministic turing machine so what we discussed is uh, deterministic as the standard turing machine and we know what is actually non determinism and suppose uh, you are given with a configuration like this the current state is p and the current input symbol is small c suppose the turing machine allows you to define more than one moment or way to proceed from the current state in this case it says you can either change your state to q replace small c with the gamma and move left that is what you did here replacing the second c with the gamma moving left getting into state q so that is the first transition but there are two transitions defined for the same configuration what is the second says you move into the state r replace that small c with the gamma capital gamma and move right so in such a case the machine can non deterministically decide which transition needs to be applied okay so this type of a turing machine where multiple transitions are defined from any reachable configuration is called a non deterministic turing machine and the computation of a standard turing machine that is deterministic on any given input can be modeled as a as a path because from every configuration there is at most one next to configuration possible either transition is not defined or a one transition is defined so every time you don't have a next state or a next configuration or you have exactly one next configuration so the computation is a single sequence of states but in the case of a non deterministic turing machine as shown in this particular case see from this configuration there are two possible configuration in the next step so it is like a tree where from one knot representing a configuration the next knots can be either this or this one according to this transition relation and in general there can be finitely many next configurations possible so in the case of a non deterministic machine uh the computation can be modeled as a tree this concept we already discussed before and if you look at the formal definition of the non deterministic turing machine it is same as that of the standard turing machine that we defined in the lecture L forty two. The only difference is that there could be multiple next configurations possible. It is just like the definition of non-deterministic finite state automaton. The LHS is same, but the RHS can be a subset of this kind. You can have a number of transitions. That's it. So that is a non-deterministic Turing machine. 
and just like in the case of uh, finite state automata in the case of turing machine also deterministic and non deterministic turing machines are equivalent in power with this uh, we are finishing this lecture so today we looked at some variants of uh, the standard turing machine model in the standard turing machine model you have a single semi infinite tape and uh, a control unit with finite limiting states and the standard turing machine is deterministic today we discussed about multi tape turing machines where the turing machine is having more than one tape finitely many tape and each tape is associated with its own read write head and it is proved that a multi tape turing machine and a standard turing machine are equivalent in power because of the interest of time we have not discussed the proof for this but it can be easily proved another variant that we discussed is uh, non deterministic turing machine where from a given configuration multiple transitions can be defined in that case the computation will be a tree in general for a deterministic or standard turing machine it is a path or a sequence of configurations there are other variants like uh, both the infinite tape the in the standard turing machine it is infinite only to the right you can make it infinite to both the directions with uh, no left hand marker in that case also it is not that the turing machine with uh, both the infinite tape is equivalent in power to a standard turing machine and people have tried various variants of uh, the standard turing machine model and every time they came up with the proof that whatever they add they are not getting more power they realize that the standard turing machine is powerful enough to do whatever a new variant can do thus we are concluding that turing machine is a robust uh, the standard turing machine model is a robust model it looks like uh, there is no way to increase the power theoretically whatever a machine can do any other machine can do the standard turing machine can also do it so that is what is believed maybe we can come to this point again when we discuss about the church touring thesis if we get time thank you